Can you teach a guy like me how to make all those cool moves? Like judo and kung fu. Welcome back to another You Make It episode. Um, in this series, You Code It, uh, we'll be doing how to build a Super Mario type video game using P5 and P5.playjs, scene manager, as well as. No, there's no more. <laughs> That's it. Um, so, to recap, last video, I'm gonna put it somewhere here on the screen. Um, we went over how to set up our playground and throwing that header tag and seeing if everything works and linking all our JS files and all that great stuff. So in this one, we're gonna actually start drawing out our first scene, which is the intro scene that will then lead into gameplay. So let's get started. Now, let's start developing our game. We're going to use our scene manager library to switch between our intro gameplay and gamer scenes. To do so, let's create JavaScript files for each scene. Remember to link JavaScript files in the index. We're going to put those JavaScript files in our library. We go file, new file, we're going to file save as I'll save as intro.js and we're gonna put it in our libraries, all right? So we save that. And then like I said, remember to link here. So copy, paste, this is intro, right? I'm gonna space these up. All right, and we save, so Let's navigate into our intro.js file. If you're already familiar with P5, this is the usual construction uh, sketches. So function uh, setup. And then there's function uh, draw. So everything is you set up your sketch and then you actually draw it here, right? Uh, when using scene manager library, uh, you put each scene code in the setup and draw method of an individual scene class. So this is our intro. So we're gonna go function intro. And all this uh, documentation would be here. Uh, let's go to libraries. This is the scene manager. So here, scene manager, and all that information is here, right? So we go scene, intro, and then uh, this dot setup. Function and then outside of that, this dot draw equals function, right? So this intro object just has its own setup and draw functions. So now we have to uh, set up our actual scene our sketch, right? Bastion World has its rolling bright blue skies and those cylinder mountain and this rugged terrain, right? So how are we gonna set that up? In our setup function, we're gonna create our canvas like we generally do, canvas, right? And then in that, we're just gonna give our X and Y parameters of our canvas. So the length and width, uh, 500, 600, a little rectangle, semicolon. And then that blue background is going to be background color. 
and then the RGB for that. So that's that bright blue color, right? To bring in the cylinders, cylinder mountains, and rugged terrain, we'll need to implement the load image function, which loads an image from a path and creates p5.image from it. To ensure that the image is ready before doing anything with it, we'll need to place the load image call in preload so that all of that is here in preload so if we go to p5 and we go to references bum, 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 image we'll see that load image function and everything I just said is here the image may not be immediately available so you have to render it um, in the load in the preloader right so let's declare some global variables. So var foreground image and then var background image. Those are just the different cylinders. And then from there, let's create that preload function. Because we have to um, render it first and then draw it here in the preload function we're gonna go f image equals load image and then assets like i said before our graphics our graphics are in our assets folder i gotta put my little assets and I believe this is sky2.png and then the background image the lighter colored or the darker colored one I can't remember which one it is cylinder mountains so we're gonna do that same code All right and then this one is sky this guy yeah I know my naming conventions are just so creative and thoughtful all right so we're loading it so before we can draw our mountains on our canvas we'll need to like set up our scene manager in this instance because like I said our scene manager is each scene within the game so we're working on our intro scene we have to inject the mountains we just preloaded, so we pre-rendered into our scene manager and connect the P5 events such as key press and mouse clicked with the wire function. So, well, I'll show you all of that right now. So bar, so this is our manager equals new scene. Manager, All right, and then this is us injecting our mountains now. So manager dot foreground image equals foreground image. All right, and then we'll do the same thing for the background uh, dot background. And then this is the wire. So we're ba basically just connecting all P5 events, such as key pressed, mouse clicked, um, with our scene manager. So, well, that doesn't equal anything. We're just calling it. And then uh, we're actually showing our scene, our intro scene. Show, show. It's lowercase show scene. And then we'll throw in intro. Alright. So save that. So there you have it. The setup and rendering of all the uh, mountains. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram at you make underscore it. 
um, and support me at ko-fi.com uh, backslash you make it uh, coffee gets all the creative juices running so you can support me by you know a little donation for uh, my coffee funds have a great day and see you next monday <laughs>